Hello everybody and welcome to the Woodland Realm. It is my favourite faction of DAC and we are giving enemy forces a bunch of smack. We have taken Lego Doom and they have been unable to take it back. But they're trying at Mount Golas. But the thing is, it doesn't matter too much. We do have people there that can take care of business. No worries. We've taken the Black Gate. They will not take it back. <laughs> this is a running theme. Um, and what else is there? Well, <laughs> there is King Death on Lexalus, Conqueror of Goblin Town, and might I also say the carrier, the bearer of the One Ring. He's got some business to do. Yeah, loads of business to do. Um, but we'll discuss that at the beginning of next turn. Come with me, my friends, and let's see to what end this campaign will draw. You see? You see? You see? Lordian is up to no good. They're trying to bribe us at Echnolion, believing that this place should be theirs. I do not think such insolence can be tolerated. And now, speaking of insolence, Captain Solas comes to be thwarted at Mount Golas, or Tawarth it. Hmm. Eh? Eh? I don't know. Towards the on, you gotta work on your puns, man. Anyway, let's get to another lovely battle. We'll just, uh, you know, for procedural reasons, quickly save it. You never know what this game gets up to. Evil must not be Behind the scenes. The We're back, and you know what? I, I felt that battle was so underwhelmingly one-sided that featuring it here would just be like rubbing it in. And there's no reason to be mean to our enemies just because of their incompetence. Ah, uh, no. We aspire to higher ideals of badassery. Oh, and another knight gets a placement skill. How nice. Yes, of course, because <laughs> uh, last time we smacked the snow orcs out of another knight and thus out of Middle Earth for good. So now Erebor can just focus on rune down toward the south. One wonders if they will then divert all their massive armies southward. Or if uh, Balin is just going to keep standing there. Maybe he's going to try to take care of Jagog, but technically Jagog sits in our territory. Which, um, hmm, is actually a little um, disconcerting because he's causing devastation and economic disadvantage. Hmm. Hmm. Something must be done. He's not going to move easily, but perhaps the army of an Azanar will eventually be able to do him a solid. And when I mean say solid, I mean a solid smackdown, because that's what we specialize in here in the in Woodland Realm and Corporate. Now, um, here's my thinking. If we take some of these cheaper troops and get them over to Anazanar. Then, we will be able to take the better troops from Anazanar and just move them on, smack Snagog on the bum, and get it over with. Right? That seems like a reasonable supposition. Over the next couple of turns that it'll take to get there, the settlement will also be just fruitfully restored to the forces Cultural forces, I should say, of good. Uh, Barkhad Assad, do you have any uh, requests? Oh, I suppose you're just doing all right. You're just sitting there, having a decent time, building some infrastructure that will enable the retraining of your forces. Can't say I disagree with any of those policies. And Ozdingail, yes, you will need... Hmm... Let's get stuff that grows the place, reduces corruption, all that lovely jazz. Because, you know, I am a fan of jazz. Particularly the musings of Chet Baker. He's, uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful trumpet player. Hmm. So, Amon Lank. Should we just uh, get people in there? Yeah, because everybody can get something out of uh, retraining there, actually. So, in you go.
And we'll definitely want these guys as well. But of course, getting all of them will entail a little wait. How long should Legolas be tolerated waiting in these lands? Hmm, that's a good question. And is the militia garrison still worth it there? Hmm, time will tell. Ooh, marksman's range in Dor Norhak. Pretty tempting. As in, I'm gonna get that with all the fury and enthusiasm I can muster. Uh, we'll need some leather workers as well. Just, yeah, just generally upgrade everything. And handsome lad goes in. Less handsome lad goes out. Prince Daogon is also moving. Finally. Uh, I'm moving him close to the front simply because he is a general, a standard general, but he has like 10 more dudes in his regiment, so he is like 25% more <laughs> uh, martially capable than our standard retinue generals. So, there's that. Hmm. Captain Aedion. Yes, come with your Ents. We'll get them retrained, don't you worry. And maybe we can take horsemen from there, put them in free upkeep in Achnoyon. We also want these guys retrained eventually, so why don't we send these guys out there? Captain Dragor. Yes, in there you go. And eventually retraining will come. Don't worry, it will come, it will come. And there's nothing lurid about that statement. I'm just saying it will come, okay? Slightly better visibility. Maybe we should also... Do we have a spare general anywhere near here? Well, spares, but... Nah, putting it generously. <laughs> we don't really have spares. Ah, oh yeah, do 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 Glendaugion. Yes, yes. Why don't you go up to Erinor and then... Lamalas, you can upgrade something. Not sure what it is actually. But it's always worth trying it out. Okie dokie, how's the Mordor situation? Well, they're stack spamming as usual. Gedebrin is getting more and more militarily endowed. And you know what? I think Dantalad should also send some troops soon. Because maybe our dear Nibzerian. Nibzerian, sorry. Sorry. Um, maybe he will need some help. He might actually be under attack soon, but if he ends up just distracting a couple of orcs, that's fine with me. Valpanarth. Marksman's range, thank you. Army barracks, yes. And then all the rest. All that and more. And perhaps a militia garrison eventually. Yeah. It'll probably be worth it. We'll see. Um. Moraburg. Hmm, yes, yes. There's very little that threatens us in these lands. We'll just say hello to the Dalesmen, um, or Dalians, I suppose. And uh, they are definitely committed to our friendship, as you can tell. We must have be having a right lovely time in these lands up here in the northeast. Peace is everywhere. You know, we're friends with the Dalians, we're friends with the Dwarves, we're friends with Dordwinian, and they're all doing lovely. We're also friends with Lorien, and we need to um, amend that somewhat. So we have Without question, Minastian journey planned out. journeying south. He'll I be in Lorien to before too long. My Lord. And Mordor is still neutral to us, although they profess... I mean, although I must, I must profess that they are slightly threatening for uh, 
a nation ostensibly friendly to us. Oh my lord, Thrandau, Thandrau, Thandrauk, 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 you have lost so many movement points. It's actually a little sad. Nonetheless, I wish to have myself a tower, you know, allows us to see just a tiny bit further. It would be great to have a, a cavalry general <laughs> who could just zip around and do all that. Anyway, next turn, please. We return to find the bride, for and where the handsome shall be married. Okay, well. <laughs> who are we to stand in the way of handsomeness? <laughs> hmm. Now, what else? Hmm. The Hall of Music is a wonderful addition. Hello, Overlord Morholt the Hillman. You're the leader of your people. Hmm, okay, okay. And, um, Lego Town feels to you as if in reach, but maybe that's a little optimistic for you. We'll see how you do. We'll see. Oh dear. Hmm. And of course, your people are also besieging Mount Golas again. This time with a slightly more capable army. So, maybe there'll be actual interest in seeing it thwarted. The Legatash is continuing to pump out the loveliest of lovelies. And Legodum. Hmm, my third. Yeah, we can use some of those. Um, we can also grab these guys and send them to Mount Golas. Dane's Halls. Yes, my lord. We could grab some of your guys and send them off on a merry little journey. And the birds are cool. We have a uh, space in our budget for a bit of recruitment, so let's get rolling. Um, we're sending guys west. Unazanar, art gallery, please. And what shall we follow that up with? Maybe just a final upgrade. We want this place, Elven, as soon as possible. Terfilin. You will have wonderful marksmen, I can tell. But we will prioritize the economic buildings because you're, you're far away from all senses of conflict. So, hmm. And then Runin, eh, what do you do? What do you do? What do we do with you? Uh, ah, oh, hmm. Similar, actually. We prioritize a little bit of it. everything that can generate income on a longer term. Great Art Gallery can even boost trade a little further, but... Of course, it is limited, mm. but it's there. Bursautis. Mm. What about you? Your corruption levels have been reduced, and thus your income increased, which is lovely. Ah, Murburg. Hmm. We will want that builder's guild house. And Moratar will return soon enough. Hello, Tor. How are you doing? Uh, this is my cousin is called Tor, so you know. Um, nice guy, very tall. <laughs> um, very tall fella. Now, despite our siege uh, at the hands of Angbar. I'd say we're doing all right. My lord. Elves. Yes, my lord. Let's get these guys over here. You over there. Build a tower. And just, 
yeah, declare your atten intention to uh, say hello to Mordor. We might even just threaten Varfest. Like, you, Mordor, you, you're saying hello to the Lego gate and good luck with that project, my man. Um, in the meantime, would you mind if we were so very kind to visit Varfest? Eh? Eh? Yes, I knew you would like it. I knew you would like it, you dirty bastards. Anyway. <laughs> Um, Marksmas Range and Dantelad. Yes, that seems like a lovely, lovely calling. Army Barracks, also good. And then, trade on the way out. Bard Alu. You have decent culture, ah, but it can improve and it will. Valpanar, do you have all the culture you need? Basically, so life is good there. Do we have any agents in uh, places where they're not needed? My Lord. Uh, Lego Gate. Do you have a you have a load of spies, and they are beginning to outlet their usefulness in this land. So I'm going to send them on. We might want to say hello to you as the lad, for instance, and um, how about the other guy? There you are. Hello. You know, a nice place to keep an eye on is Durtang. If nothing else, then we can sort of keep an eye on their training of temple units, since those are pretty nasty. Lego Town will eventually need a militia garrison. That's actually a decent income boost <laughs> overall, so we're gonna get that. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Uh, after the archery range, of course. For the light. Lego Tash, training, retraining, life's good. We have a spy in there that we might not need. Yeah. Let's get him to move on. Over here. We'll just say hello. Oh, hello, Ruil. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a mighty fine snow this time of year, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. We'll just uh, take a look at the uh, lowlands of Rudauer. Um... Lego Doom will train troops and do it well. To Anazanar we go. The cavalry will run a little ahead of the rest. Yes, my lord. Elven warriors. And then we can sort of leave behind these woodland scouts in favor of the cavalry coming in. And Captain Serian will deploy himself into an Azanar along with the other scouts, they will become free upkeep, life is good. And then yes, Uruvion and his cavalrymen will travel with Falas Nornian out of Unazanar, but uh, it'll be oh, next turn. Next turn, yes. And it seems doable to me. It seems doable. But of course, what seems doable might not be you know what? It seems very doable from this perspective now. Okay, good. Excellent. It's a plan. It's a plan. It's a go. The plan is a foot and a go. And all those things that we have come to love and know. Let's retrain everything that can be retrained and I'm on Lank. So that next turn... Death on Lexalus, conqueror of Goblin Town, may find himself back with his feet on movable ground. Tawartheon comes under attack yet again, now with a more capable assailant, so this time we will fight the battle and uh, I think you'll actually get to see what it's like when we come under slightly more pressure. Halmir, 
Do your worst. Send them back to their underworld. So, my friends, this is where we will stand and make our stand as the enemy at hand decides to plow everything they have into breaking our hold of this region. But everything they have might not be enough. We'll see. Let's first make sure that our archer setup is tippity tippy top. And that our melee troops are ready to face whatever comes our way. Ah, good. And now that we're all set up and in position, we can sip a bit of tea while the enemy tries to break down the gate. Curses. Me, myself. I'm enjoying a lovely little black tea. Glass their eyes. The enemy's ram is through our gates. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. They enter. We open fire. That is how we shall quench our heart's desire for control over these lands. Vested control, vested control, and here they come with skirmishers. Hmm. Interesting. Shoot them. And uh, trap the skirmishers. Depending on how they proceed, we might want to. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Direct, redirect some of our melee forces because our elven defenders may struggle against everything. But they're not sending everything, it seems. So I think we'll be okay. Let's loosen up the witch knights with our most uh, punchy archers. Use the others for taking out- Oh my lord, are they sending the witch knights against our armor-piercing axemen? Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Thank you, Angmar. It's like you've read my mind. Um, that's exactly what I want you to do. And our defenders are holding up so well. <laughs> oh, they are lovely to have. Lovely to have. Alright. Uh, archers, archers, archers. Do you have your own interests at heart? Eh? Apparently not. Um, I'm from archers over there. Why are those guys holding back in that way? That seems a little unwise, considering the fact that we are currently precipitating their army's demise. Hmm. Okay. Witch knights coming in. We've battered them a little bit. Not too much, though. Only a light battering. Now they'll get a heavy battering. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Give them your all. For then they shall surely fall. Oh, hello. Thralls coming in. They will be showered with joy. <laughs> Angmarum archers. Ah, those are the ones causing a couple of casualties to our woodland sentinels. Ah, <laughs> I see what's going on. And here the witch knights are, have met the wall of axes and... Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Let's just not come no coming back back from that um. the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half Perhaps you guys could pepper the Angmar marchers just a tiny bit at least While our other defenders are finishing up the others. Oh And now they're done. Okay, good How are we doing with the first general of today. Oh. It appears that uh, Good yeah, he was relatively quick and easy to slay. Halmir! Long may you be remembered for your military misadventure that resulted in your death. Sorry, my lad. It wasn't meant to be this way. Or maybe it was. Anyway, 
yeah, celebrate, but uh, don't let it get the better of you, okay? Because uh, your enemies are still coming at you. So form up the lines again and prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. All men to the wall. Um, they charge, and we counter charge, and life is good. Especially if we manage to just cut them off completely. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Good. Um, and the defenders are chasing away the archers, as one sort of knew that they would. Yes. Thralls over there. Turning the tail between their legs and fleeing. Oh, some Angram infantry. Determined to hold the line, it seems. Let's see how they do. Oh, the Witch Knights have been broken and now they're fleeing the field. Ow! Yeah. Not a fun day to be Angmar! The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. I'm <laughs> just taking a look at that and going, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's time to press the attack. Okay. But the general here survived, so essentially. Unless we can somehow capture him. Uh, which I think is pretty unlikely. Then the battle is going to leave survivors. Oh, hello. We have our general here. He might be able to. He's got a while to go. I'll just uh, tap out here and let you know once there's anything to know. Amazing. We're chasing him into a lake. <laughs> but he's a slippery fella. He tries, he tries, he tries so hard. And got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Because he will fall before the elven regime of light and joy. I think. Maybe. He's gotten out of the lake, but surely it has... Slowed him down a bit. It's a, it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have him. I think we have him. Yes, we have him. Good. Thirty-three casualties. Angmar, you are terrible at this. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, on with the show. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? He shall be ransomed back and accepted. And the Hillman arrives at Lego Town. But it is Lego Town now, and we're not going to just put our arms down and spread open wide for the big Hillman gangbang. That's not how we roll around here. No. If they think that, they have another thing coming. Yeah, let's just uh, queue up a little bit of retraining. And Barca Lassad starting route to retrain troops in a way that I find to be beautiful and constructive. We'll also want stables. The melee troops will eventually retrain as well because the facilities are already there. It's just going to take a while. Maybe we should start with the stables then. Seems more urgent. And an armorer would be nice. Hmm. Good, good. Oh, speaking <laughs> of all that. Uh, we're about to need some more troops apparently. <laughs> da 
that's okay. Elven warriors. Now Mount Golas has gone free. Building a barracks. It's a lovely thing to see. Taurion, um would you like to spy elsewhere? Maybe just take a brief little look at Morbatarth. Yes. Hmm. They have some snow trolls. Those could be a problem. If they choose to be. But yes, it's Lord. possible that they this won't. Best be worth yeah, they're not going to take a ceasefire lying down. Huh. For the light. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We have a bunch of troops that are ready to hit the road. And they can go directly to Mount Golas. Where they will be welcomed with open arms. And... Balamethor go into the fort over there and next turn you'll be able to aid in the defense of Barkar Assad so should that be necessary and I think it will be it looks like it will be so we will gladly make provisions Bursakur in there you go and we can also send some lads over to the fort in the mountain pass. Um, where you can meet up with other like-minded folk. And now, speaking of meeting up with like-minded folk. Ministerion, continue on past the... I shall continue tomorrow. <laughs> The Veilsman War Machine. And... Uh, yeah. Greetings, Durion is still ally. sitting there, just trying to make use of influence that he doesn't have anymore. Anyhow. Lexalus. Princeling of Death. Um... For the light. Elves, swiftly. Elven warriors. Come on. Four of those, that's pretty good. Hinadawa, yes. Times three, please. Ents. All of them. Thank you. Athereth, yes, please. Oh my god, this army is going to be a little intense. Um, three of those, and then... Yeah. That seems all good to me. This is the army. King Death on Lexalus. Shall march upon Lorien with the greatest army to ever walk the earth. The Middle Earth, that is. Beautiful. And then some more Ents will be retraining in Amun Lank. I mean, look at that. That is screenshotable, I'm gonna say. It's pretty good. Um, four of those, three of those. May even be too many Hinadawa for one army. What's the maximum number of Hinadawa you can have before it just becomes less useful? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway. Dogon, you, you are to get down to the front. Hello, Kruglur, you handsome fellow. Oh, Gazook, hello. <laughs> You're interested in uh, Bard Alu? Well, aren't we all? Aren't we all? Me. Camelas? Mm, yeah, hold the music. Coming next turn to a lovely place near you. Would you wish to hello, Ardenheim. What are you doing? Greetings, most noble. Uh, hello, Radagast. Brown wizard of joy. Hmm. Well, eventually, Tolartheon will strike out from Mount Golas toward Morvatarth. He could probably get away with doing that pretty soon, considering how we are putting troops into the region. With Glandur... And these guys coming together at Mount Golas. Extra training capacity, allowing us to sustain the military there without outside help. You know, all that coming together tells me that the time 
is coming. Where Mount Golas will set its own interventionist agenda. Teehee. What's happening over here? Not but a claw. Mm, large town. Hornborn. Ah, conqueror of Bree. Wait. Are you telling me that you own Bree? Uh, that cannot be. We can't have that. But Marvatarth is more of a, a pressing issue because if we control that, then everything from Lego Town to Mount Golas becomes that mo much more secure and we can press them on a narrower front. So, that'll be nice. Um, speaking of narrower front, Captain Sedian. You will come together with our friends in Anazanar and sit there for the joy of all that. And then for that's Nordian, you will go and say hello to Snagog. And you're going to Snagog him out of existence, okay? And then he'll just move on because Anazanar does not need him, really. All we need here is... Just to develop it at our own pace. Life is good in an Azanar. Durstang has sent troops toward the Lego Gate, it would seem. Ah, and a Galarico comes as well. Mordor has plans for us. Let's see what those plans turn out to be. I'm sure they will involve a little bit of violence, so stay tuned. Mordor have unveiled their plans. F at last. Baralu is under attack, and Mordhalt retreats. He takes a fort with no resistance because there were no people in it. The brave soul. Yeah, but look at that. I'm gonna stick you. Oh no, they're attacking us not with our best, with their best but with their worst. Mordor, Mordor, Mordor. Ah, what are you doing all this murdering for? Orthak, you have no hope of gaining Galebrin with that army. We have a militia garrison for melee. We have woodland scouts that can take care of your maulers in an instant. It's just not happening for you. I'm sorry. What do we have here? Gazook. Ah, yes, with your beasts and trolls. They actually have a decent chance. Because they're only dealing with a small town. Perhaps Valpanath should offer a bit of assistance. Hmm. Yeah. It might be a good idea. Morfindian, can you spare the time or should we just send your envoys? Nah, we'll send we'll send more Findian as well. Unless it slows them down. It does a little bit, but not too much. No, no. Okay. Woodland. Scouts, you'll be left behind. Um, good, good, good. Mordeborg. Let's also endeavour to get Elven warriors. Elves. our dear Molotar out on the road again. We'll send this cavalry to Valpenard. You know, we'll just send them south with all haste because them being on the move is a good thing. Mm. Then we can leave behind a couple of units and be off. Onward. That is. We will need that one. Yeah, we'll build a guild house. We'll also send the archers with them. It'll be a while before they can be retrainable in uh, Moraburg anyway. By the light of Elbereth, indeed. Yes. Okay, so shall our faction heir stand alone forever? No, he shall not. Which is why we will 
Dispatch a detachment of our finest. They will go to meet him. Elves. Meanwhile, the prince is just building towers, I guess. But once he stops building towers, he will go to take what is ours. Hello, archers. So happy to see you in Dogobar. Let's also get an army barracks at some point. Way station in Legadum. Wonderful, I tell you. Wonderful. Um, Legoland. Don't be bland, be Legoland. Kamalas, you have your Hall of Music. And... Should you build a Hall of Culture? Yes, you should. You should also build a Master... Builder's Hall. Hmm. Yeah, let's get it. Everything will be easier to do after that. We can train some archers in the meantime. Um, <laughs> Baralu has the practice range of its dreams, finally. It'll be interesting to see if they attack immediately. They might. And in that case, we'll have to do some target practice on their beasts. There will be nothing... No higher purpose. Come, my brothers. Hmm, of course we can train some troops in Dornohach. And that's good. Then we can send off these lovely pe people with more of in the uh, uh, more the Mirdanian mm. uh, yeah more the Mirdanian and that on Lexilus moves inexorably as does without question Monastian tomorrow's journey toward Irui where sits somebody presumably More troops here. We have the capital, so let us capitalize on our capital. More archers. Very good. And an Arnon will be managed like never before. And Trandall Tolls gets elites. And. Hmm. And then there is this whole business of Snagog. Yeah. Let's see him through. So. He has a decently big army, but that's basically all he has. It's big. It's nothing else. So, let's beat it down. And be back. To business. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Here we are. This is our setup for this battle. The enemy is over there, and... Uh, since they have very little in terms of cavalry, we should probably just uh, send our archer cavalry over at them and uh, see how they respond. So far, they seem willing to sacrifice any advantage they may have. Okay, we might need to correct our position a little bit. This is how we shall proceed. Good. And we arrive just in time to start loading up our bows. Come, my friends. There are snowhawks out there. The last of the snowhawks. And they are to suffer a... an ignoble end. Though perhaps one could argue that what higher purpose to life could there be for these beings than being subject to the edge of our arrows. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Um, da -da -dum. 
Okay. Uh, now, let's also redirect our fire a little bit. So, these guys. Shoot at some warriors. Shoot those. Shoot those. Good. And do we have some... Yes, some javelin throwing people. They can focus on the heavier troops because they are truly excellent at taking them down. The cavalry, just staying out of the reach of the enemy for now, is all you need to do. Eventually your finest talents of speed and precision will be put to the use they deserve. For now though, just ride and swerve, ride and swerve. Take their attention away from where it is truly deserved. Hmm. Okay. Black Shield Warriors, they shall be, well, ward upon. Um, what do we have there? Hmm. Yeah. Pale Rooks, down to 71. <laughs> and now they will be met with overwhelming melee force and capability. Uh, it is. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Into the earth. Help. Stay alert. Good. Uh, goblin infantry. Interesting. Interesting. You know what? Let's uh, use our lighter archers against the goblin infantry because they truly deserve nothing more. And our horse archers can then perhaps do something against their, um, well, their foot archers, actually. We'll just need to position them first. That shouldn't be a problem. 52% of them are gone already. It's such a pleasure working with the elves. They have lost half their men. Their abilities in the art of war is, I mean, it's just a joy. Okay. Come, my friends. Come, my friends. This is the way. And you can lose your final few arrows. Yeah, good. Actually, maybe we want to take down that general over there. Just, you know, a little poke. See if it ha has an effect. The desired one. I mean, a pretty good effect actually, but we can we can do better. Elves of the Woodland Realm. Goblin infantry reduced to nothing. Well, nearly. Oh, hello. The cells are coming this way. <laughs> This offers an opportunity for our Thericon to strike their archers and our Woodland Horse Archers to strike at their leader. And, uh... You know, I think that's a decent job done considering the fact that the enemy managed to countercharge us. Let's not keep our cavalry in one place for too long. Because that would probably precipitate their downfall. Or at least... A demise way too easy for this battle. The line is breaking. Their morale is in tatters. It is a joy to behold. And what about this guy? Ah, okay. okay. We're losing a few troops here, but... We're taking out the leader, and so when he dies, the army probably... just runs. 
Or at least what's left of it will. Ah, but here comes assistance. Can't necessarily... Oh, no, it's not assistance. It's people fleeing our arrows. Right. Perhaps the best thing to do is just lean in to our strengths and um, shoot the cell swords dead. Athercon, how are you doing? Ah, okay. Yeah. A bit under the weather, but we'll just keep you in the background. They may be nearby. Um, well, sort of. is very much in our favor victory will be the enemy general flees like the coward he is Press on oh he tried to attack our uh, horse archers and there he runs the last of his kind Oh, he died, and so did a couple of our friends, but uh, yeah, we can take it, we can take it. Um, did we? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Very nice. Losing only a couple of hundred for taking out an army of thousands. I'm gonna say that's a decent trade. Fellas Nornian, you have done a great service to your people. So, we build a little tower, we go to Thranduil's Halls, where you will find restitution and retraining for all your forces. You've done a great job. You have secured an Azanar, you have ensured the demise of our bitter foe, the Snow Orcs. And allowed the rest of our faction to focus on other matters. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I respect you, my enemy. Yes, my lord. I think these fellas the might be better off heading to Lego Doom. These fellas? Into Bar Kelasad. We'll see if Lulak dares defy the woodland realm. You know what? Yeah, we can send you guys to Lego Doom too. You deserve restitution. Uh, <laughs> anyone else? Well, we can send these guys into a fort. We can also send these guys into a fort. We'll do a little switch over, eh? Yes. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Good, good, good. Lego Town, is it where we want it to be? Well, I suppose it is. We can also use a marksman's range in these parts. Yes. Wonderful. Then let's send a spy westward. Or maybe into more of a tart itself. Yeah, let's do that. Goody goody. Hmm. Next turn awaits. And our break with Lorien draws ever nearer. Come, my brothers. 
Mordor, I want you. Frandouk or Sandrauk. Yes. Um, his name will be edged forever in the consciousness of your kind. Send them back to their underworld. So, what shall we do to set up against these forces? Well, they come with their black Urux and they shall be resisted most violently. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Can we make it so that uh, our dear leader sits on this? Yes, we can. Good. We just need to. Not, not like that. Uh, not, certainly not like that. But like this would be pretty good. So he's pretty secure. You know, this is where the ladders are going to go, like this, and then he'll be the most safe he can possibly be. The safest he can possibly be. And then we can have archers here bombarding the enemy from the flank. Bum bada bum bada bum, archers of Mirkwood, and oh, we have more over there. Haha, <laughs> archers of Mirkwood galore. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps we should also keep some archers in here. Just for the sake of shooting everything that moves from the flank once they get in. I just want them in here, damn it! There we go. We'll put them like this. Defenders, like this. Hold the line, because love isn't always on time. And uh, over here, just shoot the black Oryx. Anything we can do to uh, make our general's life a bit easier. Generally speaking, ha 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 ha. Um, so we have the ground troops. Ah oh, yes, and we have horse archers as well. Hmm hmm hmm. Yes, let's get these guys. Well, we could put them over here and just shower the enemy. Actually, that sounds pretty good. And then when they start running away, charge them through, capture everything and moves. Seems good. Seems very good. Can you shoot them properly? Sort of, sort of. Reducing the maulers is a glorious task. The archers, they won't be too difficult to deal with. Stay right there. Curses. The enemy are battering down our gates. Yeah, it was bound to happen eventually. Look at the bright side. A fifth of these buggers are have already fallen, so there isn't that much left to do, but continue what we've already done. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Victory is a distinct possibility, they seem to suggest. Hmm. Funny thing. Doesn't seem that possible to me. The enemy's ram is through our gates. How are we doing up here? Oh, we're doing so well. <laughs> that was a strange sight. But, um, that's how it is sometimes. Shoot the general. 
And then, you guys. Yes. There are some enemies over there. Uh, would you please load up your bows and do what you do best? Which is to uh, shoot orcs. Come on. Yeah, take aim. Sound the alarm. <laughs> okay, you guys. Move. Oh no. <laughs> uh, there goes the ladder. In our favor. Yeah. Victory will be ours. Give him hell, or give him hail. A hailstorm of arrows, that is. Okay. Good. Uh, let's get our general to a slightly safer spot. Like that. Very good. Because they might decide to come up this way. And if they do, we will be ready for them. It's all about staying ahead of the enemy. Go a little forward, see if you can uh, get a bit more accuracy on the enemy. Looking good, looking good, looking fine. I'm so happy that you are mine. All people, stop shooting arrows. Now is the time to run them down. Anyone else? Not that much, really. Not that much else. We're left so few alive that there won't even be much of a tale to tell from this place. All they will have is the rumour that occasionally gets back to the great eye. The day of our most glorious victory. Well done, everybody. Mortalt? The enemy is at our gates. <sighs> Why continue this madness? Why go back and forth this way? Who is going to benefit? Nobody. By the light of Elbereth. <laughs> Elves, scout the area. Stay alert. <sighs> Another turn dawns. My lord. And our spies infiltrate Morvatarth. Allied to an advice. That is just a weird diplomatic 
thing. I've no, I don't see that very often. I have to say. <laughs> Not since my Candish campaign that went to Bree, plug plug, <laughs> did uh, I see such a thing. Ah no, Eon, you are going to upgrade. It's going to be a lovely time. Get it while it's hot. Most of our trade is with our own nation here. So, we can probably live without these two bits of trade here. Hmm, what do we have here? Eren Arden upgrading. Yes, very good. Very, very good. Um, what shall we focus on? We'll focus on the things that matter. Such as building a tower next to the border of our friends, so we can keep an eye on them, like all good friends do. Achnot uh, Eon, you're upgrading already. Okay. Logo Town is under siege. That's okay. It's understandable. Ooh, haha. More wonderful fe people coming for a training and training in Dornoha. And Dantalad, yes. Lovely troops. Training and retraining. Sorry. Prince Daogon. Yeah. Okay. Elven warriors. Come on. This is the way. By the light of Elvereth. I'm gonna Okay, we're gonna move you out of range of the enemy. Just because. And the, especially because they seem to have trolls and things, and those are pretty unfriendly in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> then there's Gulm. Yeah, I have a, I had a grand plan, you know. I had a grand plan. What lies do you bring us then? Oh, uh, I bring you nothing but joy. Oh, you don't have any money because you've ploughed it all into a military that's supposed to threaten me or something. Oh, okay, I'll take a regular tribute then. A fifteen hundred. A turn for four turns. What do you say? I must inform you oh, okay. Um, twelve hundred and fifty for seven turns. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Um, trade rights. And then um, we'll just continue toward Varfest. Yes, my lord. Morelon, you've done good, as you always do. A dependable asset to your people you are, yes. Let's take the 54 over the 66. Um, <laughs> Marksman's range coming on the line. It's going to be great and it's right on time. Because things are heating up with Mordor. Gelbrin, can you retrain? Yes, you can. You can retrain everything. For the light. Elves. So that's exactly what we'll do. Culture-wise, you can get ready for the big boys. Um. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? So many sycophants. Is that what you want? Is that You know what, Voronwe, are oh, you a little wasted in Daugovar? I think you'll be more used, uh, useful in Amon Lank actually, because the corruption level is just a wee bit higher. Framsburg, surely you can build things. Things that, oh my god, improve trade? Yes, you can.
You're actually a pretty decent trade location. When a great art gallery contributes almost a hundred, that's pretty good. It's pr probably because of all those orchards and lumber yards and yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you're resource rich, my friends. It's very good. Shall we move the lovely people of the mountains down toward Mount Golas? I think we shall. And yes, my lord. these people too. Elves, for the light. Onward. What a lovely army. Go to Morvatarth, my friends. These people can be retrained, and that means yes, these man. people can be liberated for the armed forces. The practice range will come online soon, and uh, then we can keep yeah the Woodland Warriors and the Woodland Scouts there. And the rest will essentially just move with Tawartheon and his mates to Morvatarth, where the doom of our foes shall be decided. Yes, my lord. Let's also get this guy in there. He'll be able to get in there no problem, and he will definitely strengthen our hand. Because we want a swift takeover. For the light. Come on. A swift takeover for the light! Yes, um, that's exactly what we'll do. And Barkel is sad. You're getting a stables, you're building an archery range. Let's get these guys in there. Now we're losing a bit of cash because we've got a lot of armies walking around the place. Come, it's not going to be forever though. Me. Because their potential will be redeemed. These forces will take more of a tarth, that will be a boon. And our forces around Mordor and such will have wonderful things to show for it. Valpan Banath. Oh, Valpanath, sorry. <laughs> and Moratar. Yes, you're moving through. Essentially, all these forces will be able to take out these planes pretty easily. They don't have great armies here. It'll be a boon to us and our friends that these planes of sorrow be brought to joy. And then. Lorian. I'm sorry, guys. Good to see you, my friend. How can we? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm probably going to disappoint you now, but um, this whole alliance thing is not working out for us. I'm sorry. I know we have an immaculate reputation, and we're essentially putting it in the toilet now. But um, yeah. Oh, okay. We still have outstanding relations. Well, <laughs> yes, I know it was disappointing, but um. That's just what life is sometimes. Sometimes life is disappointing. Otar sits with loads of good troops, and Elwestan has decent troops, and we are going to take them out. All in one go. Ha 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 ha. Death on Lexilus has arrived in Lothlorien. And I can find no more fitting end to this episode than a battle for Kallus Galathon itself. So strap in, my friends.
We even have a little hill. How beautiful. So, all the archers in one line, all the melee guys in one line. Our Ents have come. And is there any greater symbol of our right to assert rule over these lands than the fact that Ivana herself puts her guiding hand over us? I think not. Okay, um, these guys will be team one, and Legolas will be in team five. The enemy have brought up more men. It's all right, my friends, it's all right. They're trying to shoot back, but they have very little with which to do so. They have some March Wardens over there. They might be annoying. Shall we do a little bit of a wee cavalry charge or two? Yes, I think we shall. We want these, uh, this whole little army of border guards soundly crushed by the time that uh, the others get here. Only half the enemy force remains. Hmm. <laughs> Um, and cavalry, are you in place? Yeah, you're sort of in position to deal with the march wardens. Actually, we're going to take one of you, smack down those, and then one of you guys, smack down those. Then everybody will smack someone down all the time, and life will be glorious. is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There goes the Gerberleg. And that probably means we can cease shooting with Hinedara at this point. Yes. The archers are about to fall. Yes, they're about to fall. Good, good, good. The Wardens are going down. Lorien Archers going down. Good. Our men have slain the enemy general. And there he goes. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, but... Here come the other ones. They're not in range of us yet. Not at all. But those Galadron guards are making some strides. Team 6, join in with Team 2.
More March Wardens, heavy soldiers. Uh, not too many heavy archers, though. Of course, Elbereth Sentinels, but, you know, what are you going to do? Elbereth Sentinels are going to Elbereth. Shoot the Galathron guards, my friends. I am sure you will do well. Although they will take a little bit of doing. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> yeah, it takes a while to break through that armor. And these probably have upgraded armor as well. Hinadawa are specialists at dealing with low armor targets when it comes down to it. So. Maybe we should just leave this one to the regulars. Now we've weakened them, though. Okay. Berio and Goliath. Ah, yes. That is an impressive unit. And now the shower begins. Mr. Death on legs? Shall we do something? Pretty good, pretty good. Just, you know, the nail in the coffin. And um, perhaps our Hinadara over here would like to take out some. Oh my god, they have a lot of those Berry and Goliath, actually. What did I say about heavy archers and them not having them? Anyway. <laughs> honest mistake, honest mistake. But the thing is, Berry and Goliath should be pretty counterable with Ents. So, that might just be our best friend in this scenario. Oof. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Causing a bit of infighting is always fun. Here at this high casualty stage of the fight, as far as they're concerned, um, I still have anything to do. And soon the Hinadara will be out of arrows. Oh, Galathan guards reduced to basically nothing. And these swordsmen will be worn down by the arrows of the Artillicon. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Good. Hinadawa, run behind the lines. You too, Lexi. Ha ha ha, here come the trees. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Did you take out all the Galathian swordsmen? It would seem so. And now you're sniping Elbereth Sentinels from behind. You know what? I can get behind that. 
It is a wonderful thing to do. Alright then. Um, time for the heavies to move in. Time for the Lorian archers to no longer feel a thing. <laughs> and the infantry rushes in. Look at that. Pretty cool. <laughs> there is just nothing they can do at this point. Oops. Uh, let's get back into normal view. And you are having a lovely time with the enemy. Let's charge even more of them, but not with you, no. Let's get the Ents to do the Berio. Um, and maybe also the Gate Guards, why not? It'll be interesting to see how many we heal from this battle. Legolas is pretty adept at that. Oh no, he's spinning! That's a good trick. Anyway, um... Barrier Engoliath... Smacked it down. They will not flee for beast nor man. But neither will we, so... Hee <laughs> hee. Legolas! Go and aid your brethren. You might not uh, manage to land a single blow, but at least you'll show support, and moral support means the world, as we all know. Uh, where is the final one? Ah, ev everybody. Smack him down. And he goes. Twenty eight casualties on our side only. That's a pretty one sided victory, I'd say. Healing some Athericon and Athereth. Some Bogard. Yeah. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Hinadawa doing a lot of damage. Ents doing decently. All is well, I would say. What shall we do with these guys? Well, I'm sorry, we can't just let them back in. We have a place to capture. And so we will take Kazgard on with no resistance. Except for the resistance that they already offered us, of course. And Yvanna's Gardens enabling the training events. Sounds pretty good to me. Arthericon? Yes, we want them. But they'll come after Yvanna's Garden. And after the Builder's Guildhouse, too. In the meantime, oh, the we can send one of these for a training back home, maybe. But honestly, we suffered so minimal casualties that it's not really worth talking about. Ah. <sighs> So, King Legolas the Great. Handsome, loyal, legendary conqueror. Having swept aside his third rival during his reign, he commands the respect and admiration of his people. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> uh... So that's one step on the way to financial solvency.
And that is also how we shall end today. A lovely little climax showing what is going to happen soon. Um... Kara's legs are done is now a thing. Because we wouldn't want to uh, go in without also just saying hello to everybody who's there in the best possible way. Do we want our cavalry in a fort? Maybe. It'll be interesting to see how Lorian reacts to this. Uh, probably with some degree of force. But anyway, that's why we have a military. So that we can fend off such force, as it were. And I will force no more Woodland Realm upon you now. Let's just uh, rejoice in the fact that all elves will be united under one lovely banner. Of King Death on Lexilus the Great. Until next time, though, be kind to yourselves, be good to others, and I will see you soon. <laughs>